Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, it's kind of come to my attention over the last couple of weeks that too many of us have developed unrealistic expectations. And here's what I mean. They say there's three ways to generate business as a real estate agent. And I agree with this. Uh, one way, you can wait for it to come to you. This is the way the great majority of the business most agents throughout the country are running their business. They're waiting for people to contact them to say, hey Mike, would you please, pretty please, help us buy or sell a house? And then I would say, well, of course I would. I can fit you into my very busy schedule. <laughs> They're waiting for it to come to them. Not a great strategy. It only leads to just two to four deals a year. Right? And I don't care who you are and how many people you think you know. Uh, the second way is, uh, the way I pretty much preach, advocate, is you earn it. You conduct a series of activities each and every day, five days a week, that makes you the credible expert with a targeted group of people. Now, not very many people like this idea because it requires getting up, getting dressed and getting to work because you ain't doing that from home and it requires effort and many of the activities that we're going to talk about are going to make you feel really uncomfortable and that's just life in the big city. So when I spend most of my time talking about earning it, people go, yeah, 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 I, I don't, that's not what I got into this business to do. I just want to show homes and go on listing appointments and attend closings. And I go, that's great, but if you don't have any customers, you're not going to be doing any of those things. The first part of our job is we have to generate customers, and that's really what separates agents. Their ability to bring business in. Not how fast they can unlock a door, <laughs> but who has the customers. You could be the best real estate agent that nobody knows about. The third way of generating business is to buy it. Now, not my favorite, but it beats number one. I guarantee you it beats number one. And some people just don't want to earn it. They just don't want to do the activities every day. They just don't want to work that hard. And they don't like being made to feel uncomfortable. So I say, well, rather than go broke, you can buy your business. And these are mostly lead generation strategies. And it's what I want to talk to you about this morning. Buying the business. I'll go along with it. I just want you to do it in the most clever way possible. There are two ways, two types of buying your business. There's back end fees. These are the most expensive. These typically come with a pay for success. So Granted, you don't have a monthly invoice to pay. You don't have to give them your credit card number. You're just paying at the time of closing. And many, many, many agents love this. And they go, yeah, but I only pay for success. So I only pay when I get paid. I go, yeah, no doubt. But the cost for these range anywhere from 30 to 50%. If you look at something like Zillow, I think they're up to 40% now. Uh, if you look at relocation, that can run anywhere from 42 to 45%. So this is just really expensive. I mean, you're giving away more than a third of your income to generate the business. And let's don't act like every dollar we make is profit, right? It's not. Like, you got to pay me. Sorry, but there you go. Uh, the IRS wants their Piece. You have usual and customary day-to-day -day business expenses. Every dollar you make isn't profit. So if you spend 40% of your income on expenses, which would be normal for a real estate agent, and you're spending 30 to 40% on referral fees, what's left for you? Not much. But it does beat the hell out of number one, which is waiting for it to come to you. Um, so back-end fees are one type. Front-end fees are the other type. These don't have any referral fee with them. They do come with a monthly 
uh, invoice, you pay whether you got any business out of that or not. Uh, these are much more affordable, but they do come with some risk. I mean, you are paying whether you get any business or not. Um, something you have to know if you want to be in the buying your business part or you want that to be a part of your business, which I don't have a problem with as long as you know this. Nationally, I don't care what people say. Most people are just lying to you. The national capture and conversion rates, which is basically taking a lead and turning it into a closing. It hovers around 1%. So yes, one closing for every 100 leads. Now, agents, me included, we get really whacked out about this. We think that every lead that comes in should be a legitimate opportunity. I mean, intellectually, we kind of get that that's not right. But emotionally, when it happens, we get really frustrated. And we go, oh, these leads suck. Or all these leads aren't in my area. Or none of these people give me the right contact information. Well, first of all, you're over-exaggerating the data, most likely. And second, what do you think it was going to be? Like everybody's a ready, willing, and able home buyer that wants to go out and buy a house this week and they're just begging you to come help them? Nationally, 1% is the average. 100 leads to turn into one closing. Now, agents can influence that number. I mean, the, of the people that I know well enough to know that they're telling me the truth, I've seen capture and conversion rates as high, that I believe, as high as 8 to 9%. So for the same 100 leads, some agents are selling eight to nine times more properties for the same lead count. Why? Because they figured out the source that has really high quality leads. No, they have not figured that out. Excuse me, there's a lot of banging. I think we've got a garbage collection truck in the background. Okay, here you go, live call, right? Um, there aren't superior lead generation sources, despite what they want you to believe, because I guess if I was Zillow, I would be trying to convince you that our leads were superior to everybody else's too. They're pretty much all the same. That's been my experience with it. If there was one source that was so much better than all the others, everybody would be trying to go there, right? Um, what does influence some people's higher level of success. Well, speed, the old saying is speed kills. Speed to lead is important. Now, I'm not one of those whacked out people that think you have to be up at two in the morning responding to leads and you need to interrupt dinner with your family. Now, I don't think that at all. But I think that if we're going to be in the lead generation business, we want to try to be as responsive as is reasonable. Make sense? Okay. Uh, the second factor that influences lead success on the agent's part is just flat out skill. Some people are just better at it. Now, here's the problem. Agents all over the country, agents here in our office, think that they were just born this way, that they're just naturally good at this. I personally find that highly offensive. You wanna work from home? Work from home, I guess. I mean, you're not listening to me anyhow, but you don't, you aren't naturally born with the skills to be successful at this. So I'm gonna lecture for 10 seconds. If you're staying at home and you're part of our lead program and you're not getting the success out of it that you want to, I don't wanna hear it because you don't have any skill. Who do you think you are? You just born this way and you just naturally are great at this? You need to get up, get dressed, and get your little fanny in here so we can help you build the skill. Some of you are just hopelessly arrogant and you think that you're just great, but you never put the effort out to get great. <clears throat> okay, I'll move on. <laughs> there really aren't superior lead sources, folks. There are superior skilled agents but there's not superior skill lead sources. Most leads are not highly motivated and qualified. They're not, you shouldn't expect them to be. 
they're just browsing on the internet and they clicked a button and then they got to you and maybe they're not even looking in the area of that you service but they went down some deep dark dive on the internet and they ended up who knows where they're just browsing they're not looking for a real estate agent you got to understand this they're not looking for a real estate agent. You might be looking for a customer, but they're not looking for a real estate agent. So we need to understand that we're like panning for gold, right? And most of what comes into our little tray when we're sitting out in the river trying to find gold nuggets is not gold. Mostly it's just crap. And we have to sift it out to find the gold nuggets. But if I expect everything that comes into my pan to be gold, I'm crazy right i need to adjust my expectations wouldn't you say okay key part to all this if you're going to get into lead generation strategies follow-up is everything i know we want to come in contact with leads that are qualified and highly motivated and maybe want to buy a house in the next two to four weeks that would be great and if you speak to enough people, you will find people that are like that. But most people are just browsing and they're probably going to do something. I mean, everybody needs a place to live, right? And most people, if they can, would prefer to own their own place. Uh, they just might not do it anytime soon. So our ability to um, take them in, get them into our CRM, and establish a long-term contact campaign where we establish ourselves over a very long period of time as the top of mind credible agent is key to this because I think you're going to want to sell houses next year too, right? Okay. All right. Well, for all of this, this is why I decided for us to partner with somebody like Boomtown for our ad campaign, Lead Generation, and it's why we drove the costs so far down. Why? Because I'm just like you. I, I, but I've already been there. I understand all these things, and I don't want you paying thousands of dollars a month for lead generation because you're going to get frustrated way too quickly. So we drove the cost down through the cooperation of our business partners. So you're paying $300 a month. The fact is, one sale this year, one sale this year will cover two years of your ad campaign. So, like, chill out a little bit, adjust your expectations, stop expecting to, that you're in a gold mine with this, and just realize that you only really need to sell one house this year to pay for two years of the ad campaign because we've driven the cost down so much, and realize that your capture rate is going to be somewhere around 1% unless you get more skilled. <clears throat> so let's don't get crazy but let's do go out and get skilled. And folks, this is how we're gonna make it happen for ourselves today.